Curling! Why is the title shouting its presence? I get being excited about playing a glorified shuffleboard game on ice, but there's no reason for that extra exclamation mark. I know the comments are gonna get on me about the glorified shuffleboard comment, and I'm just kidding. Longtime watchers know my love of curling. Whenever I have to review a game where curling's in it, it's usually the best game in the collection. Curling is played like this. You have to get your stone to the center, and your opponent will try to do the same on the same board. They're gonna block and knock your stones off the board. Only the stones that are in the center and outward will count. So you not only have to keep your stone in the center, but you have to get as many as close to you as possible. If one of your opponents gets close closer to the one that's to the center, none of your other stones will count. I hope that wasn't too confusing, but it's actually easier to play it than to explain it. You can also control a broom, which will slick up the ice in front of the stone that you're throwing, in case you underthrew it and you want to give it a little bit more of an oomph. Now this game controlled well, and you can even curve your throws to get around a block from your opponent. I never knew when I should sweep the stone's path, it was just kind of a guessing game. Now there's a practice, multiplayer, and tournament mode. You can also adjust some of the options to speed up the games. The AI characters, even on the easiest option, are really good. They won't give you much breathing room, which is a little bit disappointing. I like being able to have the chance, but they really expect you to be an expert right away. Even at the lowest tournament ranking, they will destroy you. In practice mode, they will give you different objectives to achieve. It was helpful, but I'd rather learn by playing than in a school setting. Now the graphics were very bland. It didn't have much personality at all. It really felt very generic. You can play this with motion controls, and they work just fine, but I preferred using button controls. Now let's talk about the online aspect of the game. It's something I might be saying if it actually had it. What is this 2007 with the Wii? Why is there no online component to this? This title already seems like it's a bit bare bones. Even with the other two games included, which I'm going to talk about in a second, the lack of online features was crazy, especially with the $40 price tag. Now like I can mention there are actually two other games in this, which are more like offshoots of curling. Penguin Pool and Tic-Tac-Toe, which I have no idea why they call it tic-tac-toe, where in the world you interact with more appropriately calls it bingo. Now let's just go over that one first. This one is two players only for no reason. There was nothing in it that made it so you couldn't have a computer player. It just wouldn't let you. You just throw the stone down the lane and have it rest on one or more of the boxes. And you need to make three in a row to make points. It was enjoyable, but it gets dull after a couple games. Penguin pool was better, as you have to knock down the penguins into different pointed pools without knocking in your stone. I can see younger kids actually enjoying this mode for a little while. Let's play curling! Was an accurate yet generic game. I wish it spent more time on making it more visually appealing, but in the end it kind of feels like a budget game for a not budget price. Overall, as a curling simulator, it works perfectly, but it needed more options to keep people's attention. Now this is normally $40, and I say wait for it to go on sale if you're interested in curling. The blandness of the visuals and the lack of online support is why I say this. If you're a fan of curling and want to play what I think is the most rules accurate version of it, this will work for you, but I would definitely wait for it to go on sale.